the slide visible yes sir okay So we have seen instruction and coding. Help of modern urban At that table, we know while memory will be called, then addresses can be found with the help of which register and their combination. And additional eight bit display or 16 bit display. Another point is wherever there is a BP getting involved, default segmented stack segment. Uh, while referring the memory, default segment register is DS. More zero 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 one and one zero memory reference and one one register reference depending on double bit zero eight bit register double bit one sixteen bit register and as per this format we have seen most of the instruction minimum two byte. At the most, instruction length is 6 bytes. Then we move to look at and repeat instruction. So, loop instruction making set of Instruction to be repetitively executed. How many times? That depends on count available in C. For every loop, C is getting decremented by one. Whereas repeat is a prefix instruction. The next instruction executed number of times depending on in C X. And there are further derivatives, loop Z and repeat Z. Apart from CX, Z flag is referred till the time Z is 1 and CX is non zero, trying to repeat or trying to loop. Similarly, loop NZ and repeat NZ. Till the time Z flag is zero and CX is non zero. Then trying to loop or trying to repeat. And after this, I think we are looking at string instructions. So before proceeding to string, is there any doubt from anybody from any of the topic up till now covered up? Yes, please, anybody? No, sir. Okay. So, string instructions. So, we were looking at move string byte or move string word. Moving a byte from source to the destination or moving a word from source to destination. 
wherein source pointed by with respect to es destination pointed by di with respect to es and after moving a quantity from source to destination si and di get updated by adding one or two or increment decrementing by one or two depending on d flag so if d flag is one si and di pointers are decremented if d flag is zero si and di pointers are incremented that increment or decrement depends on whether it is a move string byte so by one move string word decrementing or incrementing by two is it okay yes sir, yes, sir. okay thank you so source pointed by ds colon si destination call Pointed by ES colon DI, and which D flag, so that the initially initial return for ES SI, ES DI, and D flag as per STD or CLD, one of them you may use. So the way you know now, move string byte or move string word. If before this instruction there is a repeat. what will happen repeat move string byte and suppose d flag is zero what will happen sir byte will be moved from si to di till cx flag is zero if d flag is zero moving a byte after that increment okay address is incremented after that nine connect byte bidding the byte if there is a Use of repeat instruction as a prefix to move string byte. So repeat and then move string byte. It will turn number of bytes from source to destination. But how many bytes? That depends on C X C X C X. That's why that's why. So initially C X to be initialized. Repeat. Move string byte. At the most, C X can be loaded with F F F F F four times F sixty four kilobyte. We get transferred. Copy from source to destination. So whether you go on to next address, next address, next address, so you have to manage D to be initially zero, or you would like to go backward from higher address to lower address. Then D should be one. If it would have been repeat prefix to move string word, then what would have happened? Two bytes at a time. At a time, a word from source pick it up and trying to write a destination. Pointer updated again next again next and so to sixty four kilobytes were at the most if C X is loaded to F F F F so every repeat C X is decremented when C X comes to zero that's going to the next of the most string word fine is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. 
instructions are compare string byte, compare string word. So compare string byte, trying to compare source quantity with destination quantity. Source pointed by SI, destination pointed by BI. Destination with respect to ES and source with respect to DS. So we know compare instruction. That way, it tries to do source minus destination. But subtraction, 8-bit or 16-bit result, not av available. Only flags affected. So look at, looking at the flag, you are supposed to conclude. And after comparing one byte or comparing word, if it is a compare string word, SI and DI pointer updated appropriately. Yes, everything compare string byte, compare string word. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Okay. In place of move, just compare, subtract, pick up, other pick quantity pick it up, both trying to get subtracted. If both are equal, then normal third flag will set to one. Load string white, load string word. To accumulator. Content of source. Load into accumulator. Content of source. String back. Accumulator AL will get loaded with from, from source. And by SI with respect to DS. After loading, SI gets appropriately updated by adding one or by adding or by decrementing one or decrementing by two. Whereas load string word, load into accumulator, a word 16 bit quantity two bytes from source. So in this case, AX will get with a word from source, source again pointed by SI with respect to DS. And after loading into AX, SI gets appropriately updated. Is the byte and load string word clear? Yes, sir. Loading into accumulator content of source. In case of load string byte, AL gets loaded with it by byte. So load string word. AX get loaded with a word from source and only source SI gets updated. Next is store string byte, store string word. Storing the content of at destination. Storing the content at accumulator 
at destination, destination pointed by B i with respect to E s. And after storing at destination, only D i gets updated appropriately. Stores in byte. In this case, content of AL will get written at destination. A byte. And after that, SI may get added or subtracted by one. Sorry, not SI. DI will get updated by one by adding or subtracting. Sir, how this addition or subtraction happens? Please can you explain? Store string byte store the content of AL at destination. Destination always pointed by DI with respect to ES. After writing in destination, I get incremented by one if D flag is zero. Or DI may get decremented by one if D flag is one. Are you getting incrementing or decrementing? Yes, sir. So before using any of this string instruction, you are supposed to initialize D flag, appropriate SIDS, appropriate DIES. Then everything as per your desired may happen. So move string byte, compare string byte, load string byte, store string byte, appropriately word oriented. I think last one, scan string byte. And string word. Scanning. What do you mean by scanning? Scanning. As it surveying. As if trying to find out. Are you getting it? Scanning? Yes, sir. Scanning for, searching for something. Where? Searching at destination. So, asking by it, as if conceptually, try to find something in destination. Is this particular quantity available in destination? So what is that? Which quantity? Scan string byte content of AL is getting compared with content of destination. Destination pointed by DI, yes. Then it does AL minus byte. In our comparison, only flags are affected. L doesn't get modified. Scan string byte, trying to look for particular quantity. What is that? Content of L in destination. So depending on what is their DIES, as per that going to that memory, that memory content byte, and a ten byte l minus that byte that the comparison carried out and only flags affected so typically you may be scanning is it there so if it is there there is a match so l minus destination quantity will be zero so z flag will be one so looking at the z flag you have to conclude what's your scanning result
and after comparison that subtraction only plus factor n only di updated may be incremented or may be decremented depending on d plus Clearly, scan string word. Trying to scan for, search for, is this sixteen quantity, sixteen bit quantity in system, which content of accumulator AX. So it does AX minus destination sixteen bit quantity. So while it scan string word. From the destination, 16-bit quantity is read. That gets subtracted from X, and only flags are recorded. You put the flag. You have to conclude. Just check yourself. Think over on each of these instructions, and try to point out any doubt, any difficulty. नंबर एटी नाइन सर्वज्ञ पांडे नंबर एटी नाइन सर्वज्ञ पांडे शंतनु नंबर नाइंटी सिक्स शंतनु हंड्रेड श्रेयस पाटिल एम आई एस नंबर हंड्रेड श्रेयस पाटिल वन जीरो सेवन सोहन चौगुले वन जीरो सेवन सर यस्टरडे वॉट अपन You didn't join lecture? No, sir. I think record says you are absent. Yes, sir. I am absent yesterday. Be careful. When do I ask? You said one one seven. Vishnavi. Vishnavi Patil. One twenty nine Vivek. Number one twenty nine Vivek. One forty nine Pujot. Sir, yesterday you were there. No, sir. Actually, sir, there is funeral going on. What going on, sir? Funeral. Uh, my grandmother passed away. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's okay, sir. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. One fifty-one. Yes, sir. Present. Yes, sir. Last last lecture. Last lecture, I wasn't present, sir. You wasn't. Yes, sir. One fifty two Sakshi Raj. Number one fifty two Sakshi.
Okay. Anybody having a doubt with respect to string instruction? If no, there's no doubt, yes, no, okay. Anybody else? No doubt, sir. Okay. So now we we'll try to write a program. And now program for searching for a message. Now, from MY onwards, there is a quite ample of space. So, MY onwards, there are number of messages stored. Out of those many messages, you are supposed to search for particular message. And as soon as you got it, Pick up that message and write at MZ onwards. What is the problem? From MY onwards, number of messages are stored. Out of those many messages, you are going to search for particular one. Got it. Just pick up that message byte after byte and put it at MZ onwards. Are you getting the problem? Again, I'm repeating. From MOI onwards, there are number of messages already stored. Out of that, you are going to search for a particular message. Actually, about it, you pick up that whole message byte after byte and keep on writing at MZ onwards. Are you getting the problem? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Now, the program messages stored in MOI armor are in typical fashion. Every page is having five byte title. So, at MOI onwards, first consecutive five locations will be title of first message. So that byte onwards, that is the content of message. At the end of every message, there is enter key. After that, next message is there, second message. So again, second message, five byte title is there. And next five byte, those many bytes of message. At the end, again, there is an enter key code. Again, third message, five byte title and content. At the end, enter key code. Are you getting the storage of message? In what way it is done? Yes, sir. Again, I am repeating for other few people. From M onwards, number of messages are there. But they are stored in typical fashion. 
what is that question every message starts with its title and for every message title is 5 bytes so first message are you by title then content of each message that message at the end there is a code for enter key after that second message starts so after enter key five byte title of the second message after that content of second message at the end enter key again next message five byte title content of message at the end enter key and so on are you getting how the messages are stored yes sir okay now out of these so many messages you are going to search for particular one which one are you going to search so mx words there is a five byte title so that the message with such a title is there that you are supposed to find out from the moi onwards available messages so you are going to search for this five byte is identity are you matching for the first no are you matching for the second no are you matching for the third yes then third message content is to be picked up and that is to be kept at mz so are you get mx for five byte which message you are going to search for that message title is available in mx is the problem clear yes sir anybody else yes sir yes sir okay. i said code of the enter key now when you type a message on keyboard that message is made available on the screen that you are quite conversant with is that whatever you type in that's available on the screen is that yes sir just program schedule from this to this that the message so now whenever you press a particular key the ascii code of that key is stored inside the memory head ascii code stored in memory e s t code stored in memory s s t code stored in memory t s t code stored in memory and in this fashion and that memory content is being displayed on screen okay now we are for the time being we are not displaying we are writing picking up from memory and writing at other memory so whatever normally messages may be in ascii code doesn't matter it's a bit pattern a byte i said at the end of the message every message there is a enter key ascii code for enter key is 0d ascii code for enter key is Zero D H X. Are you aware of ASCII code? Yes, sir. Okay. Number one digit. One ASCII code is how much? Three zero. Sorry. One ASCII code is three zero. One ASCII code is thirty one. Nine ASCII code is thirty nine. Three zero to three nine, or zero to nine. 
where upper case a please note down upper case a ascii code is 41h41 b is 42h 343h and so on z will be 5a h upper case a to z 41 to 5a where lower case a is 61 h lower case a is 61 h lower case z is 7 a h so whatever the cd upper case or lower case appropriate that the ascii code enter ascii code is 0d can at on what number of misses stored Five byte, then content of the miss. At the end, there is zero D. Next to that, next message five byte title. After title, content of message. Again, five byte title, content a zero D, and so on. Which message we are going to look for? That is one in MX first five byte. So you are a bit first by five byte. The first message title five bytes. They do match or no? If they match all the five, oh, you got it message. Then the sixth onward is the message content. Keep on picking up a byte. And stored at M J. Pick up the first M J, second M J, third M J. But in this way, till you get enter key. So before writing, you have to keep on. Whatever you pick up, is it enter key? No, that's the message. Keep it. Again, pick it up. Is it zero D? No. Put it. If O, that's the end. Whole message got transferred. Just think more and let me know whether you are realize the problem. Because unless problem realize, program cannot be written. Is it open or doubt? Okay, or is there a doubt? It's okay, sir. Fine. Anybody else? Anybody else? No doubt, That's sir. Okay, sir. Okay, fine. Okay, the same thing I have put here. M X. Pointing out five bytes for which message you are going to search in MY. How the MY first five byte title, then content of the message. At the end there is zero D. Again next message starts. So five byte title content end is zero D. In this way next message five byte title content. At the end, there will be zero D, and so on. Every message length is explicitly not given, but at the end there is a enter key zero D.
and title of any message may be anything but it is five by so your job is for starting to check whether the first five byte get match with this five byte if they are not matching there is a possibility four byte may get match fifth not getting match that means that is not the title interested so you are to skip everything till you get zerodi again next to zerodi is the title of next so again you should start comparing the very first to first second to second third to third fourth to fifth to fifth if you again fail somewhere then you have to suppose to discard everything till you get zero d again you start it if when you got all the five bytes here match with five bytes of mx oh you let's say you found so that the next every byte is to be transferred to mz till you get zero d zero d is not to be transferred still more clarification is it okay yes okay now if it is the case we will try to write the program now look at the mx five byte are to be compared with first five byte of my so for which get compared very first byte you should go to the second byte third matching if any time you miss match forget about that comparison and go to the next five byte you compare string byte compare string byte this repeatedly executed five times if c is low with five and you keep on comparing if there is a match so when there is a match the flag will be set to one so compare string byte prefix will be repeat z are you getting what i am saying yes sir anybody Yes. Yes, sir. Still, very yes. We would like to compare the very first bytes if they keep on matching. So, as if you are supposed to execute pair string byte, because we know if D flag is zero. After comparison, S point to the next, D point to the next. Compare string byte. Again, pointing next, pointing next. Compare and in this way, it can be compared five bytes if C X is loaded with five. But you should go ahead for comparison if every comparison is successful. Match getting a match. So it seems to be said. compare string byte so that if all the five bytes got match then you say that okay you found this is the message so now mx can be pointed by source my can be pointed by destination so ds si should come here and esdi should come over here so you know now si can be initialized to di can be initialized to ds can be initialized to es can be initialized to is it okay is it okay
mx is pointed as a source so d si and my is the destination if then es di is it okay yes sir so possibly look at this initialization if i had made mistake point out as per addresses segment seems to be initialized to two triple zero and both ds and es can be two triple zero whereas si is needed two triple zero di is needed four triple zero and d flag zero so that we will go to the next 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 is this initialization okay yes sir anybody else assume yes that source m y as the destination is this initialization okay anybody please yes sir anybody else yes sir still anybody else yes sir pallavi pallavi from this class Yes, sir. Are you getting? Yes, sir. Understood. Okay. So this was the initialization for M X M Y and D, and now C X can be loaded with five. Moving to C X, triple zero five. Then repeat Z. so you would like to repeat if it keeps on matching keep on repeating till z flag is 1 if you fail at the first comparison you need not go to the second comparison again and if you fail for first comparison comparison z flag will be zero Is it okay? Yes, sir. Whereas, if you keep on comparing the next, next, if every time Z is one, and fifth also got match, C X is one, you will come out with Z flag one. is that fine yes sir you may come out of repeat if z flag is 1 and all five bytes got compared or you may come out of repeat if any time you fail for the match Yes, sir. Now, fail for a match means Z flag is zero, and all five bytes are compared. They are equal. Z flag will be one. Is it? 
Yes, sir. Yes. I love you. I love you. Yes, sir. Are you getting? Yes, sir, Mister. So after comparison, there you would like to conclude. Jump it zero count. What does it mean? What does this instruction mean? If zero flag is set, then jump to the found. That is fine. So our intention, but it says that all five bytes got compared, and every time Z flag is one, that means you got the message. Is that? Yes, sir. See, if it Z compare, so now it is here. First comparison, okay. So it goes for second comparison. Okay, goes for third. Okay, goes for fourth. Okay, goes for fifth. When all the fifth are okay, it comes out. But now you have to come confirm it came out due to what? It came out mismatch or match. If it is a mismatch, then zero flag would have been zero. And if it is a match, zero flag is one. All the five bytes got compared. So found will be what is the job? Next, each and every byte to be picked up and put it at MZ till you get OD. But suppose you didn't get one, you check then that title match got failure somewhere in between. Maybe first mismatch, or maybe at the fourth mismatch, or maybe in the worst case, fifth mismatch. Then you say that, oh, this is not the message that you interested. So you are supposed to skip everything till you get zero D. As soon as zero, next again you have to start from very first. Is that? Are you yes, ready? Oh. So now, if suppose Z flag is zero, then we would like to skip the message. That job can be done with. Move into a zero D and now you are going to check is it zero D is it zero D AL getting compared so you are going to scan into so scan can be repetitively length is not so CX is loaded with maximum for time step. Are you getting the purpose of these two? If flag is zero, then you are coming here. And that's the conclusion. You would like to skip this. Is this initialization okay for skipping? Yes, sir. And now you have to look at scan. Scanning at destination. So this must be pointed by DI. Or if third fail, fourth must be pointed by DI. That is automatically done. No, DI while comparison took place, DI was every time incremented. So if fifth fail comparison, DI is over here, or if third fail, DI is at fourth. So anyhow, your comparison starts from here then, till you get zero. Sir, in the repeat Z, 
sir we are also supposed to increment mvano you are supposed to increment what my because when we match first then my yeah yeah so compare string look at compare string si and di both get updated now after every comparison look at the compare string by it yes sir got it yeah every time it is updated that the beauty of string instruction so when you comparison di is to the next and from there you have to check is it zero or no so you are skipping everything so after move cx four times a page it can be repeat scan string byte repeat nz scan string byte till you are not getting ode you keep on repeating pallavi yes sir are you getting yes sir okay so for skipping we have prepared l to be loaded with zero d cx maximum length because we are not going of length and we are making keep on repeating till you get od so it does l minus di quantity if not od again repeat not od again repeat when you got d it will come out so when coming out at that time zero flag is set to one samir yes sir are you ready yes sir please anybody else getting or not getting should i repeat something Sankhya, understood, sir. So after scan string byte, as soon as you got the O D, then what you are supposed to do? You are skip everything. So again, you like to start from here. So after scan string byte od di is pointing this, but si should be loaded with starting address because si was incremented while first comparison. So it is a whatever updated was here that is needed to be taken back here. So scan string byte. Move into S triple zero and jump next. Where should be next? Next means first message got title mismatch, so you skip it. So again, go to the scanning, comparing for the message. So here is di, and here you are load si to triple zero. So this is the si. Again, you start. So you are jump next. Where you are supposed to go back to next? Move cx or triple zero forward. Okay, I think it was there. So you. So this is the next. Let's check everybody gets. Now here you would have been surprised. Up repeat nz scan string by it. I haven't checked zero flag because we are sure that at the end there is somewhere zero d. So you are supposed to get it zero d. 
as a result you come out so you coming out due to because you got carriage return oh what's time please 5:30 Oh, already we are cross. Okay, then I will stop here. Try to digest so that remaining program will check next meeting. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Please try to digest whatever things are happen. If anybody having a doubt, please let me know. Sir. Yes. F F F F is a negative number. Uh, we have moved F F F F in C X. Then oh. isn't that a negative number? Because that but, is equivalent to minus one. Yeah, but uh, we are not having sign quantity, unsign quantity. So in C X we have unsigned quantity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an unsigned number. Not always loading. Consideration is unsigned number. Okay, okay. Because in that MU eighty eighty six, that emulator F F F F is considered as minus one. I guess. For, for whenever you are dealing with numbers, yes. then it is minus one. Yes, yes. But unsigned, it is six. For the last six point five three five. Yes. yes. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. It is asking a doubt. Thanks for asking a doubt. Yes, sir. Okay. Asking doubt, please. Anybody have any doubt? Sir. 